Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Mokosi. And is, am I saying that right, Big Z? Yes, sir. You can either say Mokosi or some people say Makasi. Makasi. Yes. All right, so I'm here with Big Z, who is one of my oldest crypto friends. We met uh, during the good old crypto.com NFT days. And uh, I guess we all have these kind of friends that kind of stuck around while everything else was uh, falling apart. And we then went our separate ways. And uh, Big Z is a heavy fan of Mokosi here. This is his Twitter feed, by the way. He's not doxxed, but his voice is here. And uh, he doesn't need to be ducks because he's not a part of the Mokosi team. He's just a, a player that is super passionate about it. It's a play to earn game and he's gonna walk us through how we can uh, set it up, start earning and basically walk us through the ropes and see what it's all about. But look, I just wanna show you this. This is Twitter feed. It's, it's full of Mokosi you know, and the price of the Mokosi token, videos about Mokosi. So what inspires me, even if I'm not a part of something is the the passion that people have for certain things and big z is a big big believer in this project right here so big z i'm gonna pull your screen up so you can uh, show us a little bit how we can get started yeah. with mokosi thanks for having me on um and of course not nothing on this video is financial advice so i just want to throw that out there i'm not affiliated with the team or anything I'm not paid for this video just going over uh gameplay and how to get started uh, and thanks for having me on man anytime uh, really yeah so uh some some basic questions people may have uh you know where to play the game um right now it's available on pc um and you will go to the uh, makosi website right here makosi.com and uh, you basically just click on this link right here and you can download the version for mac or windows you download it and uh you're basically ready to start playing and then uh one's next question would be what do you need to play uh, you would need a Makosi Ido 2, and those are basically the uh, offspring of the, it's going to be these guys here. Those are going to be the offspring of the ITO ones, and um, you would just basically pick one up from the floor, for example. Uh, it's going to be 34 ADA, so it's about $9 USD and you're basically set to play. Worth to mention that this is a Cardano uh, NFT yes. project. A play to earn project uh, my viewers usually don't have anything i don't know actually what they do on their own spare time but i haven't shown them anything in cardano yet that is actually not evm compatible right so they would need a, another wallet here to to start playing flint flint wallet uh, actually the flint wallet works pretty much similar to metamask or whatnot yes. you get an address and you can top it up with uh, cardano and then that's it you know it's it's a lot better than metamask i must say Yes. In yeah. the interface and in the usability. Just download it. It sits up in the browser like the others. And then, uh, so uh, no, another question someone may have is, uh, do you need land to play? Um, you do not need land. Um, if I head over to the game here, this land here, is, uh, the default land basically is provided for free. Um, so you just... It's super loud. <laughs> yeah, super loud. But uh, basically, that's the uh, one land you'll get provided for free. So one ITO2, free land, and you're ready to start playing. And uh, basically, it's a auto farming simulation pet care game And uh, as of right now. And uh, those are the things you can do to start earning MCOS, which is the uh, utility token for the NFT project of Makosi Planet. Yeah, let me... Uh, get the sound down yeah, so, yeah. Super loud. Yeah. so i'm gonna just click on one land here all right so this is the game you this is the app right correct so i'm already logged in um it'll show your ito ones here and then your ito twos what's the difference between the ito one and ito twos yeah, so the ito ones they're the main collection they have the most utility uh, they earn more tokens monthly they weren't earn about 125 monthly tokens which uh, get accumulated and you go on the website and claim them uh, on the makosi website and these ito2s uh, they earn less token monthly about 15 tokens monthly and same process you go on makosi.com and claim those as well all right so as what's the price right now of the ito ones just head over here no, of the of the token Oh, of the token, it's just under three cents right now. Yes. Three cents. And you get 125. Was it 125 for the ITO one? Yes, sir. Correct. 
So yeah, here's the uh, coffee token right here. So that's around uh, $3.75 US dollars. But those monthly tokens, they are generated totally passive, right? You don't have to do anything to get them. Right, exactly. And then you can earn additional tokens by participating and playing. Yes. Uh -huh. And then as you can see here on the website, got three more days to the next airdrop. And you just come in, you come right here, you put in your wallet address, and then you, you claim your tokens basically. Uh, and like you said, there it's passive. You know, you're not doing anything to earn these from the airdrop. Cool. So uh, let me head back to the game. I'm just gonna get on one land, just kind of show you guys the basic uh, breakdown. Uh, so right now, you know, there's no sound. We turn off the sound, but um, he's sleeping. Um, <laughs> right, so right here, you got your, your Makosi's level. This is his uh, XP, and this is his energy in which he uses to perform the farming, right? So as you can see, once I wake him up, this bar is going to go up from 170 all the way to 230. Okay, so he sleeps, he's good. Uh, this is to play mini games. This is where you'll feed him. So we'll go here next. Okay, you got, you can feed him either one of the three foods, fish, berry, or milk. So I'll just feed him fish. And you want to make is sure- Is the food free? Uh, that's what you actually farm as part of the resources. Okay. Yes. All right. So uh, he's 30%. That's good enough to get him going. Okay. Then you want to shower them. <laughs> Let me just kind of see if I can go through this pretty quick. Scrub them a couple times. And then. <laughs> this is still funny. Yeah. Eventually the uh, shower head will come out. So. He, he doesn't take off the cap when he showers. That's like me. Uh, I also wear right. some. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then uh, we'll put him to use the bathroom here. Okay. And, then, and you have to click on his uh, tummy. Yeah, about three, four times. Okay. Okay, so basically he's good to go. You don't have to do the mini games, but they are an option. You got Flap Edo, Stack Edo, and Moco Blast. So, um, you know, some projects uh, take forever to put out even a mini game, and they built these three mini games easily and they're actually really, really good quality. So um, that's another aspect of the game. You don't earn anything while playing those though. It's just for fun. All right, that's just for fun. And yeah. then he gains the percentages in the controller over there. Yes. Like the gaming one. Yes. All right. So I'll head over to the land now. And for him to be able to farm, he needs to be at a certain level there in, uh, in those bars, right? He needs yes. to have a certain percentage. Correct. Okay above five percent on each one so they were right. all filled up <clears throat> so these are some new features they added this is the lucky wheel <clears throat> i've already used it for the day but it spins and it gives you a chance to earn any one of these here it's pretty cool and then uh, they just added this also daily quest so like it'll tell me ship two orders milk two times and uh, spin the wheel and also the streak login a good way to keep people coming back and, and playing yeah so they'll, they'll come in and claim and they'll earn these uh these maconium maconium a lot of people just know them as diamonds unless you play the game and basically uh that's this right here and that's what you'll use to upgrade your land your house and and things like that or your inventory uh this this current land i have right now is a level 15 which is the max inventory but uh, if you did want to upgrade it, yeah, it won't even show me, but it would require, uh, it would require these uh, Maconium and also Moshi. Moshi is the in-game currency. So, all right. So um, basically you can, you can farm milk, you can farm berries over here. You can uh, cut wood, mine stone, or you can fish. So uh, which one do you want to see? I want to see the fishy. Okay, so yeah, so you just simply click on it. And this is also a new feature they added. So to farm two fish is going to take 10 minutes. And it's going to take away 17 energy from you. Uh, or I can go for the 30 minutes. It's going to farm six fish for me. It's going to cost 51 energy plus two meconium dime, diamonds. So uh, I'll just hit that one. 
so yeah so um it, it's a convenient game for you know a person who doesn't want to sit there and be playing all day you know i can start him on this task and i can get some in real life things done at the same time you know so. definitely this is reminding me of uh, farmville back in the day yes uh, i don't know if you know it my mom she used to have a, an alarm on her phone there so she go. would uh, remember exactly when uh, it was time to harvest i guess it's the similar thing here yes exactly so um you know all I'm right not... so now so now the, oh, sorry this guy is now fishing and you got two more uh yeah so empty empty ones right correct on the land right on the same land yes so and you I... can put them to work as well at the same time yes so i can uh, wake him up let me try to go through this quick feed him the fish shower him yeah so ideally like you said <clears throat> you want to have the max amount working so the max amount on the land is four so you can have four idols working at one time um, so we'll shower him use the bathroom and you got 30 almost 34 million a uh, moshi is that how moshi. the token is called yes sir uh-huh 34 million moshi and then i um i'll go over how much that is in a second so wh which one do you want to see now the, the berries oh the berries yeah the berries okay i thought i remember berries okay <laughs> <laughs> i right. like berries so yeah so we'll have them you know just go for five minutes and he starts on the task so as you can see the the timer for the uh this one here he's still going he's got 27 minutes left and uh he'll be done farming berries in just under five minutes you got um, a switch up going on there yeah so <laughs> and this is actually one of my favorite maps right here you know the detail you can like zoom in you know you can see the ito full traits you know face mask and everything yeah just super impressed with uh you know the effort the team put in to put out a quality game like this you know do you know how many different kind of lands they have like visually uh, yes yeah, so there's a uh, 10 there's 10,000 lands in total and i believe there's about i know there's 10 legendary themes and i want to say there's about 10 other separate themes i believe all right let me let me uh see if i can pull it up real quick so i can make that and those are nfts as well that you yeah. can buy so jpeg store here is actually like uh, just like open sea for a uh, cardano yes sir. and uh, it's also visible in the flint wallet if you have it there go your legendaries right here and then these are your other themes so you got almost a thousand alien 999 angel egypt ghost and this is the land i was just playing on right here the angel one yes and then once you upgrade them do they look different or they they keep looking the same just they produce more yeah they'll look the same um you just basically upgrading their inventory a level 15 holds 159 like yeah. max resources um let's say a level 10 would only hold about you know 80. so um, that's basically what you're upgrading the space your your capacity and what you can hold um and, and it's important because uh crafting is coming next month and basically like just to break that down a little bit it's uh you're crafting pvp cards so you'll come here you know you'll get your resources however many it tells you and uh you'll submit that and i guess in return because we haven't gotten the full details in return you'll get a pvp card of uh, a different species of monster which is going to be pretty exciting so the pvp is player versus player card yes yes sir correct that means that uh, there will be some kind of fighting aspect to the game that has not yet been released. Yes. The um, cool. only thing I know about it is is uh, some ambassadors in the Discord have actually uh, spoken about it, that they've seen previews and they're like mind blown, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually looking forward to it myself. I, I, know, I know me and you both have some uh, Pokemon roots, you know? So Definitely. Yeah, and then this, uh, I want to say, is based off of Tamagotchi, that old pet farming game, uh, virtual pet game. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of like where they got the idea from this with the whole pet care. Yeah. And uh, uh, me and my brother, we had those, and uh, we could also fight 
them you know that was like a later generation of tamagotchi i had like a dinosaur and he had like a gorilla and then we could like attach them and they would also fight yes there you go yeah so that that that's the kind of concept they were going for with this and uh another thing i forgot to show you um so as you farm your resource oh, okay so he's done farming the berries here so if you just look at my moshi balance you'll see this number go up here okay oh really yeah so i, I think i earned what almost 300 moshi right there farming berries so that's another way you earn and then the main objective for right now with the uh the farming simulation uh you'll click on that ship button there and i have 20 orders to complete i've only done six so you kind of just scroll down and see which ones are highlighted green like this one and then uh so yeah th this one's uh, requiring one berry and one stone and i'm gonna earn 1314 moshi and possibly some some diamonds over here so i'll just hit ship and then you'll see the little makosi ito and his spaceship come by and and you know these are the things i like that they took time to add a yeah definitely nice feature they they really are detail oriented and he used to come by a lot more slower they actually sped it up so they they, pay, they yeah they pay attention to you know people's not complaints but uh suggestions you know yeah so wait a minute you you got a uh, 1300 yes. mostly for, for that little thing there yeah so and and the airdrop is what 125 um well the airdrop is actually separate that's not part of the game that's just uh you go in and claim that separately on the website the makosi website but only 125 right mostly uh per ito one 125 mcos per ito so i have 21 itos so i i want to say i get about you know, 2700 something mcos monthly just from holding them yeah right so so i'll hit claim now on this shipment that i just did and you'll see my balance over here go up again so remember it said like 13 something right and look at what it actually came out to so that that's because of the land multiplier um so basically this land um i would have to go to the website and look it up but basically this land will give uh an extra bonus per se on every order yeah almost 1.8 or something like that extra yes per se. Exactly. because it's uh it's closer to the uh legendaries um and the closer you are to legendary the higher you know rewards you can you can earn in the game so um so as you can see i earned like a thousand more than what i was initially supposed to earn on that on that shipment yeah yeah so um did you uh did you have any other questions on there do you wanna i have questions okay uh, sure so now that i'm a new player and i have a ito 2 uh, there was a default land you said that we could use to play on uh, yes. will i be able to make money or the token there uh, by playing if i don't pay uh, to get a land yes so so i'll head over to the default land now that i have the volume turned down all right so i'll wake this guy up and he's completely let's say naked um so what the team did basically they required you to get to certain levels in order to see the traits so at level 10 you can see the face on his land level 20 you can see the body anywhere and uh, level 30 you can see what's on his head anywhere so i'm okay. only i'm only at level 12 right now so i'll just feed him really fast just kind of so this, this is the free land we're on now correct yes but you need a ito2 as a minimum to minimum do. correct okay yeah yeah to, to start playing and you know start earning this is all you need uh, so this is around ten dollars at the moment uh, actually a little bit less at the yeah, floor price if you i think it's about nine dollars yeah yeah if you want to get started with this game and start right. earning you can right. do it for as little as ten dollars yes and this is the default land as you can see how much effort they put in here it's, it's crazy this is a free product and they actually made it presentable you know 
yeah it's up to up to standard with the yeah. other one so um so yeah so you'll come here only difference is you'll earn significantly less because the distance is extremely far from the legendary lands um and when i say that let me let me just come back here so like for the spaceship he has to travel a lot further to to collect or what yeah uh so so you see right here distance to legi yeah that's just short for legendary and you see this high number here so that's yeah. that's basically saying like you're extremely far from <clears throat> legendary and your earnings are not going to be very high as opposed to uh this one you see that number there yeah just six yeah so i, I with this land i'm extremely close to a legendary so that's why my multiplier on this land is going to be a lot higher it is a great thing that this is a free land but um it's just really to get you acclimated with the gameplay and and start earning right so you can see uh, the possibilities of play to earn i guess um and yeah and the same functions you can level up the land uh the, da the data actually stays with the land <clears throat> so if i upgrade this one right now so you see that so level one to level two um yeah it's gonna cost me five meconium diamonds and uh 720 moshi and in turn i'll get three more spaces and i can ship one extra order so <clears throat> i'm not gonna upgrade it now but that's basically what it'll do so i'm at level one because i don't use this land um but you know a new player who you know doesn't want to buy a land from secondary market you know you can start out here there's nothing wrong with that definitely and, and the same thing here you can ship your orders so I can, i'll just ship one for example this one wants three berries so you see uh, 132 moshi is what i'm projected to get so uh we'll just see what it uh, actually turns out to plus a gift what is the gift uh, the gift is actually the meconium diamonds here. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that's we'll... undetermined until you open it. Exactly, correct. And and it's random. They're not guaranteed to be given out on every shipment. Um, and you can earn a max of three diamonds. So let's see. I may not earn any on this one. Yeah, you see. So yeah, so, nothing. Right. So this land has no multiplier. Nothing. So. Just 150. So 151. What is that in US dollars? Uh, that's not even going to be one M cost. So that's yeah, that's basically like pennies, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. okay. So now I'm confused. M cost. What is that? And what is the most here? Okay, so M cost is the uh, the D the native DeFi token, right? Yeah. Uh, that's the one that you can buy on the uh, on the Dex. The, you know, decentralized exchange uh, yeah. called MinSwap. That's where you can buy uh, MCOS. You convert your ADA into MCOS. And uh, that's the one that if you want to like, you know, cash out your earnings from the game, it would be in that token. Okay, got yeah. it. Moshi is, is this one here. That's just in game. Um, and you can only spend that to do your upgrades. So like when, like if I was to do this upgrade right now here, this is going to be deducted from this balance here. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Can you show us the the decks where this uh, happens, or how? Can you show us a little bit how how you take the money out of the game? You don't have to do it now. Just like sure. where would you click to to get the mostly out to MCOS? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can do that. So you go to macosi.com right here. You're gonna go over the dashboard right here, and then you're just gonna click on withdraw. And you, you know, you, if you have your gaming account, you put your username, your password. Yeah. And then, uh, if you set up two-step verification, you put that in and then you just withdraw. It'll tell you like the fee you need to pay in order to take it out, which is not much. And yeah, you can cash out about up to five times a day, I believe. And then, uh, same thing. If you want to deposit, like you want to top up. So this is the ratio right here. One M cost equals 1000 motion. Okay. 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 You said, uh, you want to see the decks, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me, let me go to that. So it's called meanswap.org. Yes. Okay. So here's where you would basically buy, buy your M cost by converting your ADA and 
and vice versa. So, All right. so I'm not, I'm not connected. My, my wallet's not connected or anything, but, uh, so yeah, I would just come here. So this is the token right here and it's pretty cool. It shows you the, so it'll show you some of the token info. So here's the price of it. Uh, just under three cents. So yeah, a game five token. And then if you want to do the swap, you just hit swap here. So let's say I want to put a hundred ADA. So that's about 26, $27. So that'll give you 3,393 M costs. And then uh, if you want to move that into the game or if you want to just hold it, you know, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Well, it's, it's up these past days. Yes. Are you on tap tools right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get into the earnings a little bit. Uh, what, sure. what is your experience? Yeah. So, so here's, here's my balance. 33 million, nine, 11, right? Let's say I wanted to like cash out right now. I remember thousand Moshi equals one M cost. So yes. 33 million is 33,000 M cost, right? So I would come here 33,009. That's basically how much I could cash out for right now. Oh, and so I, 990 ADA and in dollars, I don't see it right now, 268? Right. Yes. Uh -huh. And how long did it take you to get to this amount? Uh, yeah, so I've been playing since February. Um, I And this is uh, probably the first month I was playing about maybe up to three, four hours some days. But the last two months, I, it's been cut down because I've been, you know, busy. Yeah. Uh, I would say maybe a, an hour, hour and a half, maybe. So you never sold? No, I have not sold anything. It's All just right. So from a savings account. A savings account. <laughs> yeah. The SEC can't touch this, right? <laughs> That's right. And we don't know who Big Z is, so yeah, exactly. good luck with that. <laughs> at some point, at one point, Rather, it was at the uh, eight cents, almost nine cents. That's when it's when it launched, basically. Yeah, it's dropped quite a bit since then. Yes. Um, and now it's starting to to gain some traction again. Any yeah. idea why? Yes. So um, they enable withdrawals uh, about almost within the first month, right? So there was no buying pressure because you know thing nothing was really built yet. For, for you to up, you know, have to utilize your M cost to convert it to Moshi. So that was creating a lot of sell pressure. And now um, crafting is going live next month. I believe it's called the Alchemist phase. I, I don't have all the details because they, they haven't told us, but you will need a lot of uh, M costs in order to craft your PVP monster. So that's one of the reasons. Another one they have, this is a short term, but they have about 50% off breeding. I'll come back to the breeding. And then the, yeah. the third reason is um, they have a, a PVP pack, a mint, and it's gonna be next month as well. And um, you get a discount, you know, when you pay with, you're gonna you're gonna have to pay with ADA and MCOS basically. All right. So right now that's creating creating a lot of buying pressure also. Everybody's getting ready for crafting and everybody's getting ready to mint those PVP packs and, um, and somewhat for breeding. Some people are breeding right now. Um, so the, the roadmap has a lot of uh, stops still before it's complete. Yes. Yeah. So um, they, they've completed this stuff here. Uh, the game, the DAO, the trailer and the encyclopedia. Basically, the encyclopedia is where you can search up and see if uh, uh, it has been played in the game already and if it has a higher level. Like on the, on the marketplace. Yeah. And basically, uh, you see this number four yeah. right here? Yeah. Yeah. So that tells you he's been in the game and he's level four. All right. And it'll show you the, how much you can earn the multiplier and how many times they've been bred as well. So that justifies the, the price that they, they're asking for him. Yes. So someone knew this was this would be a good tool and you could do the same thing with land. You can see if they've been, you know, if they're upgraded, how how high is the inventory and things like that. And we're coming back to the roadmap here. So all these are still in progress. Uh, crafting is coming next month. Uh, merch store, I know they're working on that. Uh, they need to revamp the website. This is kind of already in uh, in progress right here. I'm not sure if you're, are, are you able to go to uh, uh, Twitter and look up an account for me? Yeah. So he's basically like the uh, biggest way of the project, probably a millionaire, who knows? 
Yeah, he a uh, really, really cool guy though. Um, so he basically is already kind of running like a scholarship, an unofficial scholarship program. He's been getting uh, former Axie Infinity players converted over. Um, and the cool part about the game accounts, it's kind of like uh, it's web two. So basically there's no, there's no real wallet connection. So when you make a separate game account, you can have somebody play and they can't touch your assets. So, uh, All right. yeah, I'm not hundred percent sure if that's how he's doing it, but it's something along the lines of that. And, uh, you know, he's, a lot of people are earning, you know, under his account and, uh, you know, he's making a lot of passive income. So until the official scholarship program comes out. And what would be the, the official scholarship program? That uh, they, for everybody to do it in a, in a safe way. Yeah, I'm assuming it should be something like that. But that also means, and this is, you know, a concern I already raised with you that yeah. there will be a selling pressure on this token as some people now are just doing it for the profits and not for the, for the roadmap, let's say. They're not excited about what's coming. They're playing for him, basically. Right. And so their shares, I'm assuming they would maybe tend towards selling those tokens. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, and those are legitimate concerns with play to earn for sure. Um, you know, if someone makes five hundred or a thousand a month and they're in a third world country, that that's a lot of money, and I don't blame them for cashing out. So um, yeah, I, I I could definitely see that happen. It's just one of those things that I I would hope that the the team can build more sustainability and, and a balance um, with the use case for MCOS and make them wanna spend that on upgrades and, and, you know, getting their monsters to level, you know, the next evolved level or whatnot. So hopefully those things can uh, overcome the thing we all fear that, you know, the, the play to earn game, just the tokenomics go to, you know, to shit basically. Right. So, uh, definitely. We, we could also see the other aspect, you know, that hopefully they, like you say, they will, instead of selling it, they will just bring it over to their own wallet and start uh, doing it for themselves. Yes. Uh, at some point, though, the house of cards or what you call it will crumble, I guess, in this type of if, if the goal of everybody is to earn uh, the right. token and, and for it to go up because it just needs the first guy to start selling it off, then right. the other panic will start. So there's a lot of pressure, I would say, on the team, you know, because now they're starting to see some traction again and right. new players will come. Yes. And this is what happens in the small bull run, let's say that there's gonna be a small bull run for this game and you don't wanna be buying the top. So I would say to, to my viewers out there at least, if you want to get involved with this, do it out of fun, you know, start with the $10 and start for free to see how it's going maybe. Nothing as financial advice, you, you might be missing out of an opportunity of a lifetime right. by following that advice, but yep. uh, don't get burned also. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I agree. It's all, it's all speculative, we don't, you know, we don't know if this is going to be a good game or not in the in the long term but uh the, the team has proven to put out you know quality which is what i like you know yeah i'm not i'm not playing a 3d uh 2d pixelated game that you know that i'm like are you are you kidding me i'm in my back in the 80s again you know so, but, the good old uh, police and thief games and uh, yeah. <laughs> what was it the bacon game i was playing it which was, wasn't a, a, a game and I feel like with uh, Mokosi here, um, the end goal, I guess, is to go mainstream as a game you can download on your uh, iPhone and Android and whatnot, and the whole world is playing it like it's Angry Birds. Or, yeah. And then you guys, because you were early and because you held on to your, uh, your tokens here, can now start to sell some off. But then again, at that point, you know, like it's always a, a question of when do you join, when do you sell, when right. is it too early, when is it too late. So, But that's also why all of this is so fun to be a part of, I would say. I don't know if you can hear my dog. He's yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that, that's a good point. Like you said, um, do you mind if I show you something on the game again real quick? I'll, I'll pull up your screen. Yeah, so if you click right here, uh, this is the leaderboard. Uh, so basically you click on Moshi, it'll show you the top earners for the month and all time. This is insane right here, this amount. Okay, so if I go to all time, right? But he's number one and number two. Yeah, it's, it, it's all happened recently. So this guy here, he was number one for like 
all the way up until this month forever like he had such a lead on everybody and now uh this account i'm not sure if that's because he has other accounts where people play for him um through his scholarship the number four maybe down there yes yeah that's another one um i think there's there's several i'm not sure what are the names on them but uh yeah that's a lot I mean, if we just go back to men swap, 415 million, that's 415,000 MCOS, right? So that's how much he's made this month. That's insane. What does it say? 3,000? $3, $3,175. And that's, that's, not, what's that? that's just from one account, right? That's just for one account. Now we go to, let's just go to his other one. Uh, so this one made 135,000. So let me go back here. So yeah, that's, that's over $4,000. In one month that's that's pretty crazy that is and the, yeah. i don't know you and you can of course check if he's holding on to it and all that and yeah I, yeah I don't, no, I, I don't think there's been any massive selling from what i've because i've been watching but uh yeah like you're right you you can see who sells you go to tap tools bottom there it'll show you you know if it was a whale account or whatnot oh yeah okay you know some of the people that have earned a lot know like you could probably destroy this thing if you start selling that much this early who, who knows Definitely. so so it's it's important it's important that the whales are uh, believers in uh, yeah in the project uh, but eventually i guess that everybody will have to take some profit yeah yeah absolutely and there's there's you know nothing wrong with it for sure yeah i'm number 35 all time <laughs> compared to better <laughs> yeah i need some legendaries <laughs> but yeah i just want to pull this up here sure. the tap tools is basically text screener for us uh, good old evm guys right. but it, it looks the same so down here you can check who's selling so you yes. can uh, keep an eye on the sales and the buys that are coming in i think right now the sales are beating the buys i believe i mean sorry the buys are beating the sales right definitely you you can yeah. see that the, the rise there in uh, yes over the uh, take the daily one yes yeah this is this is just today basically yeah, yeah so there's a hype around it right now yes. as overall though it is a downwards uh, trend because there is of course it's a rewards token so there will always be a selling pressure on it yeah man i don't know if you have anything else uh, uh in regard to this. That, that that's pretty much it uh i i mean if you want me to uh, i can tell you my earnings on the airdrops monthly yeah let us hear some, uh, some yeah. numbers Sure. Um, so since I've been in the project eight months, I've gotten about 16,234 MCOS air airdrop to me. So if you look at the calculation, that's what I've made over eight months in airdrops. Just um, by holding. Just just from holding. And, you know, pretty, pretty cool for me because coming from where I came from, you know, we, we got nothing for holding. So... <laughs> This is a, a great thing. And and the monthly airdrops, they'll end, I think, sometime in August of 2024. So it's not like a lifetime kind of thing. All right. Then I just want to thank you for coming on and showing this. And I'm sure that the, the Mokosa community is going to watch this as well and hype it up a little bit. Yeah. Because uh, I see you guys always supporting each other on, on, on Twitter. Right. And uh, I just want to say nothing is financial advice. And with these types of games, Right. Uh, be careful when you play around with them you know right. I, i'm not trying to create thought or anything i'm just yeah. i've been around you know and i've seen stuff in the last uh, months and this could be the one that succeeds and becomes the next angry birds or the, the one where you slice the the watermelons right right <laughs> <laughs> but it could it could also be just one that is here now and gone tomorrow so be careful when you when you do this stuff uh, We've been hurt too much to blindly believe in in everything. It yes. looks good, in my opinion, and it definitely has a, a very happy vibe to the game and from what I can see also to the community. Right. Um, I will try to I'll download the game. Why not? And I will oh, yeah. put my... Because I was gifted one. Let me yes. just pull. I don't know. I don't remember if I showed him in the... There we go. This guy right there. So I, I appreciate you having me on, you know. Uh, definitely been a supporter of your channel since... The good old days so and uh, yeah i know the yeah. kosi uh community should appreciate the video today for sure i hope so and yeah. big z thank you very much and uh not the last time i'll have you on for sure i yeah. guess you know and 
And to the guys out there, me and Big Z, we are pretty good friends. Uh, you know, talk almost uh, weekly about all things crypto and stuff like yeah. that. So it's a guy I really appreciate. So you should go ahead and follow him also on on Twitter um, if you like Mokosi, because you can get a lot of Mokosi tweets. <laughs> Yeah. There it is, you know. Um, so yeah, definitely a solid guy. And uh, I will end the stream here. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.